Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist as well as the co-founder of Trayminder, a clear aligner tracking app. In today's video, I am going to give you the top three reasons why you may show dark triangles and stick around to the end of the video to find out why there are some of the ways that we can help to improve the look of dark triangles. So what is a dark triangle anyway? Dark triangle is a small gap, usually the size of a sesame seed that shows up usually on your front teeth, either on the top or bottom near the gum line. Now, the top reason why you may have dark triangle showing is the shape of your incisors. Now, people have different shapes of front teeth, just like we have different shapes of ears and noses, nail beds, whatnot. So the people that have triangular shaped incisors, they're the most prone to having dark triangles because the people, those incisors are tapered at the near the gum line and they flare out on the bottom. And so when you approximate two incisors together near the neck of the incisors where the two teeth touch, that's a space where dark triangles can creep up. Now the other shapes are uh, rectangular incisors. Those are the least prone to having dark triangles. And then there are patients with barrel shaped incisors. Those patients can also be predisposed to having dark triangles. Barrel shaped incisors are incisors where the widest point of the incisor or, or the tooth is in the middle one third. Near the neck or near where it converges with the gums, it tapers and then also near the incisal edge or the biting surface, the teeth also taper. So it's like a wine barrel shape. Patients with wine barrel shape incisors tend to complain about their incisal embrasure. They tend to say, oh, hey doc, I have a gap there where my front teeth are. There really isn't a gap because the teeth, the two incisors are actually touching at the middle one third of the tooth, but they're just kind of tapering near the biting surface and they're taping, tapering near the gum line. So the really only way to fix wine barrel shape incisors is via some cosmetic bonding or veneers, but I'll touch upon those things at the end. So number one is to summarize is if you have triangular shaped incisors and secondly, wine barrel shaped incisors. The second reason why you may have dark triangles showing is that you have some underlying loss of bone or some periodontal disease. Now, remember that your teeth are buried within the bone. So if you have bone loss, so the bone level recedes, then the gum tissue, including the papilla, the papilla is the part of the gum tissue that kind of fits near in between the teeth, that the papilla as well as the gum line will also recede as well. Once that papilla is gone, then the soft tissue that used to cover that part of that negative space of your incisors are now showing, thereby you're noticing um, dark triangles. The third reason why you may see dark triangles is if you started with very rotated teeth or if you had overlapping front teeth. The reason that is the case is because when your teeth are overlapped, the papilla or the gum tissue that's supposed to be there isn't formed properly. It's kind of squished out, so it's never formed. And so when your teeth finally move into that proper position without any overlap or rotations, you'll notice that negative space, that dark triangle, because your papilla simply was never allowed to form in that space. And now that your teeth are straight, you notice that dark triangle. So now that you know the top three reasons for why you may show dark triangles, let's talk about some solutions to help to ameliorate or hide your dark triangles. The first technique that orthodontists employ is the use of IPR. So I had alluded to the fact that certain patients with triangular shaped incisors, they are more prone to dark triangles. By doing IPR, which is to reduce the 
side to side width of your incisor, your orthodontist is reducing the widest part of the tooth a little bit so that there is a space now that is created between two incisors. And then that space is closed up so that now that uh, dark triangle is hidden. Essentially, you're, with IPR, it's basically your orthodontist is manicuring your incisors to make your triangular teeth look a little bit more rectangular in shape. So that's the first technique, IPR. If you want a little more information on IPR, I've created a video that I will link below. And of course, IPR, when done properly, is very safe. Yes, it does reduce a little bit of your enamel that doesn't come back. However, if it's done conservatively, meaning that no more than 0.25 to 0.5 millimeters of IPR is done, usually that's pretty safe. Of course, this has to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Some people have more enamel to begin with and thicker enamel. Some people don't. Some people are more prone to caries or getting cavities. Those, in those cases, we want to minimize IPR. So your treating orthodontist is the best person to talk to when it comes to IPR and whether that is a good option for you to hide the appearance of dark triangles. The second method that we can use to try to hide the appearance of dark triangles is called mesial root tip. What that basically means that we are tipping the roots of the two front teeth a little bit closer toward each other. So that brings the part of the dark triangle closer together so that the appearance of the dark triangle is less noticeable. Of course, there is a limit to how much mesial root tip we can do because simply we do not want the root roots of front teeth to be touching. We want the roots to be as parallel as possible. So there is a limit, but we there's a little bit of a leeway that we can use in order to hide the appearance of dark triangles. Again, your orthodontist will be able to determine whether that can be done by looking at your x-rays. The third way that we can use to hide the appearance of dark triangles is uh, via cosmetic work with your general dentist or prosthodontist. Uh, cosmetic bonding can be done, which is adding a uh, composite, tooth color composite material into that space where your teeth are narrow. Another way to do it is via the use of veneers. With veneers, you are cutting down on some part of your enamel. So people that could benefit most from veneers are people who may have some chipping of their teeth where they're not satisfied with the overall shape or, or there's enamel chipping or uh, damage, maybe some discoloration, or there's already some class three composite fillings that are discoloring. So if you have a number of those things already going on, then putting on veneers to change the shape and size and color of your teeth is not out of the question and it's not aggressive by any means. Of course, your general dentist or prosthodontist is the best person to talk to about your restorative needs and you can also ask your orthodontist for their opinion as well. Finally, there are some things that you can do uh, injectables to try to plump up the appearance of your of the papilla or the gum tissue between your front teeth the person to talk to would be your periodontist or gum specialist they will be the best person to talk about that um, I don't have a lot of knowledge in that area so I won't go too much into it but that is also one of your treatment options well, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and consider subscribing to the Trainminder channel and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of new videos to come. I usually post them on Mondays. This is Dr. Bailey from Trainminder. I'll see you next time. Bye.